of the country last year in tempo, and they're ranking pretty high so far this season off the miss. The follow-up goes, and the Panthers tie it up early, 2-2. They miss on the turnaround. Here comes Carr, and now Kalsher. In a brilliant game last weekend against Oklahoma State. Osagai with the rejection does that well. He was averaging about eight block shots per game. Williams off the fake, open lane, left hand, no, tip up and in, 402. Or something going toward the rim with a two root. 15, Von Andrews checks in. Here's Banks off the glass and in, beat Demir. The comforting conditioning. Andrews up top, late three doesn't go. Tour lost it into the hands of Lovett, and he scores off the glass. We're tied at six. Well, Ohio State, Oklahoma State, 170 points. The last two games, both wins for Minnesota. Jacob the drive and the dish and a dunk for Osaga. Well, Ohio State, Oklahoma State, 170 points. The last two games, both wins for Minnesota. Jacob the drive and the dish and a dunk for Osaga. Gabe Kalsher. Jacob for three. A smooth left-handed stroke for Trajan Jacob. You don't mind giving fouls if you're Florida International, but you certainly don't want to do it in that situation where there's nothing going toward the rim. Oh, oh. two and one. He was patient. The car back on the floor. 15 to shoot. There's Kalsher. A step back for three. As Trey Williams runs down the rebound. And now it's Carr, nice find down low, Omersa. And a really good job by Carr of finding him, but it started with Omersa not giving up and sprinting. Then Oturu did a good job of staying out and not taking his man down there with him. Quick 7-0 run, and now maybe more. Omersa bounces, Kalsher layup, yes! You have to take advantage of the foul situation in which FIU finds themselves. Kalsher will try for three, that works as well. But it started with a dribble drive, attacking off the dribble with a post feed. Not only do you compound the foul troubles of FIU, but it creates offensive rebounding opportunities as well. And one. The Gophers, maybe Amir Coffey doesn't play the point, and Marcus Carr plays the point. That's a different look to the Minnesota offense even last year. Well, if someone can explain to me the rationale behind how some transfers are immediately eligible and others are not. Offensively, continuing to struggle now, shooting under 30% from the field. As Carr around Osaga. Under 90 seconds to play until halftime. Nice drive. Nice drive there for Blake Furcron. 